Now you go. Hey, hey! Look at us! What up? Moose and Squirrel! It's Sunday! Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. You know what time it is? Yeah. It's noon! It's. Hey, hey, hey. cheers. Cheers. Look to you. Us. To me. What up? Moose, Moose and Squirrel. squirrel. To our wives and girlfriends. Sunday, and I hope they never Sunday, meet. God, that's the oldest joke that. in the fucking it's noon. world. But it's a great one, though. It's, hey, it's, it's a classic. It still holds up. To me. So. Moose and Squirrel. So, Moose and Squirrel. Moose and Squirrel. Moose and fucking Squirrel. Friends. Live from Derry, New Hampshire. Transgression Studios. Friends, Romans, countrymen. Lend me your taints. Lend me your beers. We have not come here to praise Caesar. We have not come here to cure syphilis. Friends, Romans, We came here. Lend me your to eat. eat. To Let eat. Me your Yay! Damn fucking great. Come here to round of applause. We have not come so here to... So we're getting all kinds of food oh, put up in front of us. Hey, we got yeah. more food being delivered right now. We're going to get nice and fat. Not that I need any help, to but we're definitely, uh, yeah. definitely all going to get nice and fat. Hey, thank you, but, you know, if you saw in the bag yesterday, all kinds of food put up in front of us. I took care of those. And, uh, little so, need any help, a, 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 a little bit here. We, we are breaking out the fine china. I will be eating my sandwiches today off of Lilo and Stitch. And I will be eating Ariel. There you go. Off of Ariel. Off of Ariel. I'm yes. sorry. Off of her. Uh, uh, so uh, so you're going to tell your joke. Oh, why does Ariel wear seashells? And I will be eating Ariel. Because her boobs are too big for B-shells. That's correct. I'm sorry. And I only know that because you I'm ruining sorry. your punchline because you just told me the joke about a mermaid. Who doesn't love a mermaid? Who doesn't love a mermaid? Seashells. Oh, we all came from the ocean. We're all boobs going back into it. Absolutely. That's if we're lucky. So, originally today we were going to do our oh, podcast about roast beef sandwiches in, you know, North Shore, Massachusetts, where we, we all grew up, uh, north of Boston, I should say, not necessarily North Shore, but best fucking roast beef sandwiches on planet Earth, I'll fight anyone that says that that, that is not true. Damn right! Best roast beef sandwiches, hands down, no fucking questions asked, if you've never had a roast beef sandwich north of Boston, you're definitely missing out. But we ran into a little bit of trouble. Damn right! Speaking of trouble, we got some kind of reverb going on here. All right, hold on one second. I need Pardon me, we got testicle difficulties. Thank you, viewers. Speaking of trouble, we got some kind of reverb going on here. All right, hold on one second. Is the reverb coming through the microphone or is it other stuff in the background that's making noise? Is that the sweet spot? Speaking of trouble, we got some kind of reverb going on here. Hold on. All right, hold on one second. You can hear us. Yeah, you hear that? Hold on. Uh oh. I think I just pooped my pants. Breaking shit. How about now? Still hear it. I'm not sure why I can hear it because there are no speakers plugged in, but I definitely hear it. All right, give me one second here. Hold on a second. We're going to pause for station identification. Uh, WSBK TV hey, 38. Hey, folks, coming up Boston. after the break, is your crystal meth recipe lacking? Is your trailer park crumbling? Are your walls up? Are your ceiling falling down? All right, how about now? All right. I think I, I, think I cured the problem. Because I don't hear the echo in here anymore. Do we hear an echo anymore? We need you on the AIDS team. Do we team. hear an echo? Let me see. Da -da 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 -da. Your voices are fucked up. Might just be my iPad. T testicular difficulties. That's him, not me. Don't hear it now. Better. Okay, don't hear it now. Awesome. All right, so. End quote. End quote. So, here we go. We're back. All right. And we're live. All right, so let's pretend that none Never of that happened. happened. Hey, here we hey, go. Hey, hey how Sunday, you doing? Sunday, Moose. Sunday, Sunday, Moose, Sunday. beer, food, something. Something, what yeah, let's beer, get caught food. Up. Chicks, guns, fire trucks, drugs, and hookers, and fucking yeah. Well, let's, uh, uh, yeah, we're professionals, clearly. Allegedly. <laughs> yeah, so in case you missed it, I will be eating my uh, sandwiches today off of uh, my Lilo and Stitch plate. We busted out the fine china. And Moose will be giving me what's left over. Yeah, no, I will not. As I hang my head in <laughs> sadness. <laughs> so, like I was saying, before I was so rudely interrupted by our testicle difficulties here, we wanted to do... Dairy, New Hampshire, local Dairy, New Hampshire, roast beef sandwiches. Yes. And we spent from last Sunday until this morning trying to find places in Dairy, New Hampshire, in the local area, that had a good roast beef sandwich. And we found exactly two. <gasps> two fucking places that had a good roast beef sandwich, which is shameful. You, growing up, I grew up in Lynn. You grew up in Malden. I haven't grown up yet. No. But, all right. So you got older. I was you, raised. You, you aged. You were raised. Yeah. And you couldn't go six blocks without finding two, three roast beef places. Oh, they yeah. were everywhere. You couldn't swing a good, the fucking good, dead cat around without finding a roast beef sandwich. The good, the bad, and the ugly. There were great places. There were bad places. <laughs> there were awesome places. But you couldn't go 
you know, six blocks without finding a good roast beef sandwich. This is a fact. And so we figured, all right, you know, I had my favorites up here that we would always get our roast beef sandwiches from. So we started checking out all kinds of other places and everyone's like, we get roast beef subs. And I'm like, don't want a roast beef sub. That's stupid. If I wanted a roast beef sub, I would go to Hannaford's and I would buy a, a sub roll and a pound of roast beef and make my own. Some panadosi bread, cut it in half and, uh... Malden. Malden, Mass. Yep. Piano Dosi bread. Yep. Not supported by, not endorsing. Nope. nope I, but definitely I, I, good. It's uh, uh, man to bossy uh, something. I, yeah. Yeah. That, it's that not, place, it's not yep. the right. But ab- absolutely. Uh, I used so. to fish off the Malden River Bridge with that. <laughs> I catch carp with Piano Dosi bread. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Great bait. Great bait. So we were kind of disappointed. You know, we, we had set the show. We said, hey, that's what we're going to do next week, and we're going to be fucking ready to go. And. We spent an entire week calling all the restaurants and all the pizza places and everybody up here. And uh. They said, go shit in your hat. Yeah. And we have roast beef subs. No, no, no. Did I fucking stutter? <laughs> roast beef sandwich, dude. Sandwich. I, I went to a place uh, when I first moved up here that I asked for a, a Greek. They had on their menu a Greek chicken sub. Mm-hmm. You know, where you get the feta and, the, and yep. the bullshit and all that shit. And they said, what do you want on it? And I said, uh, well... It's a Greek sub. You 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 put the the Greek stuff on it, and they go, yeah. Okay, do you want to? Uh, what? Else? And I said onions. They fucking grill the onions. Yeah. You don't grill uh. onions on a Greek sub. I yeah. I looked at it and I said, boom, you're going right in the fucking barrel. Yep. Trash dump. Trash city. See you bye. I won't say the name. I think it closed down now. Probably. It was a Chinese place. No, <laughs> well, that's what you get for buying fucking Greek stuff from a Chinese place. That's what happens. Well, that's, <laughs> that's what happens when you are up here in southern New Hampshire, which is 20 years behind the rest of the country. Yeah, so. the family grew up in uh, Klonos. <laughs> so I'm a little hungover, folks. Just a little. Hair of the dog that bit me. Hair of the dog. Hair of the uh, Amsterdamian. My God. So we did find a couple of roast beef sandwiches up here. But we had to expand oh, our sandwiches. Right there. Yeah, there's a couple right here. You can't hey. you can't see them on the camera, but there's a couple like right here. You can't yes. see them. But so we got a couple of roast beef sandwiches because that's all we could get. It was kind of sad that when we were looking and and we, originally we were gonna scrap it. And I'm like, you know what? We should just tell everybody that you don't come up here for roast beef because there's not many places to choose. Turn from. around. Yeah, stick. You to, hit the border. Go back where you came from. You're basically north of Boston, oh. south of Beverly, and sound that's like pretty not, much it. It's like I'm not talking about roast beef anymore. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was close. So that that's you know, so we we got a, a Nashville hot chicken sandwich here. Oh yeah, we 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 uh, went outside the box, as they say. Yes, we did. We went out, and and we're actually going to go inside the box because one of our sandwiches actually came in a box. But uh, we we have a nor'easter sandwich here from East Derry Tavern. It's a, uh, a oh. It, that's that's a surprise for you that you're gonna. Uh, I think you're really gonna like that one. I had a boom sauce there a couple of weeks ago. Boom sauce, uh, not a fan. Uh, no, I'm a fan of the East Dairy Tavern. Fan of the East Dairy Tavern, absolutely no doubt about it. Great place. Uh, I buy my cigars there. If you're looking for uh, any type of beer, uh, or sponsor, whatever it is that you're looking for, you're looking for a sponsor. Sam, looking for a sponsor, buddy, buddy. Yeah, and actually, Sam's gonna come on the show. We already, I already talked to him, so he's coming on the show. So we will have East Dairy Tavern slash East Dairy General Store. Sam, he's going to come on the show. Sam. But if you're looking for any type of beer, any type of craft brew, any type of, you, you know, your standard dirty mop water, Miller Lite, Coors Light, Swill, or you're looking for, you know, crazy IPAs that you can't get anywhere else, East Dairy Store. But we went there, and we got a Nor'easter. It's a grilled cheese sandwich. It's <gasps> the best grilled cheese sandwich you're ever going to eat in your entire life. Oh. We're going to we're gonna get to that one a little bit later. We're going to. Please do. I think. So do we start with the chicken sandwich and then move to the roast beef and then finish with the uh, the Nor'easter? Do we do roast beef? And then you know, how do we, how do you want to do this? Where are we going to start? Let's start with the with the chicken because we got we got there's been a, a, a whole uh, to do lately about chicken sandwiches. This is the chicken. That must be the this chicken. Giant piece of tin foil it's is the chicken giant sandwich. Giant piece of tin foil. So, 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 John, where did you get the chicken sandwich from? I got this Nashville hot chicken sandwich oh, yeah. from Mickey's New York Pizza. Brand new place. Well, it's been open, I think, for about a year now. They got another location in Hudson, New Hampshire, I want to say. Oh, why are you not coming Thank up? you, Karina. Yeah. No, and so the other camera's not working. But anyways, uh, I was camera's gonna, are uh, overrated. I was going to try and show you the uh, the sandwich, but this is the Nashville hot 
chicken sandwich, so it's like a, a, a buffalo chicken sandwich kind of thing? Pr- pretty spicy. much. It's it's a, it's spicy. It's got kick. It's got zing. It's got the uh, it's got a good beat, and I can dance to it. Dance the to Danny Terrio. I give it a ten. Um, there's been a lot of to do lately uh, in the fast food world. We didn't talk about fast food. And speaking of chicken sandwiches, remember uh, the original chicken from BK when I was a oh. ki- when I was a kid. <laughs> All I ever had was burgers. So the the uh, the original chicken sandwich from Burger King was like those old encore chicken dinners that you used to get, and you you would microwave them, and it tasted like a paper towel with a little bit of tomato sauce and cheese on it. Oh, that's what the Burger King sandwiches were like. It was like no, it and had just, lettuce and mayo and uh, have mayo. We don't do mayo in this house. No, 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 no. And for all, yeah, we're gonna get to it later. But I know that the the North Shore roast beef is the three way. That's the famous with the sauce, cheese, and mayo. You can go straight to hell. <clears throat> Yes. With all of your family in the back of your damn station wagon, if you like mayo on your goddamn beef. I said it. Mayo on beef is criminal. You will not see any of that here. There will be no mayonnaise, sauce, and cheese. That is it. No mayo. Nope. No fucking mayo. Mayo is disgusting. I'm going to take a bite of this goddamn thing. And I am going to join you in here. So this is the... um, Ariel, you ready? This is the Mm. Nashville hot chicken sandwich. Mmm. Not hot. It's been in the fridge for 12 hours. It didn't come from Nashville. Give it a second. It is chicken. Mmm. That is. You like hearing me eat? I muted the microphone for a minute so you don't hear us chew. Mm. So, done chewing. Um, It's not really... I mean, it's got a little bit of spice to it, but if you're used to, like, a buffalo chicken sandwich, yeah. and when you hear Nashville hot, you're thinking, all right, Nashville hot, that's, like, hotter than regular. And it's terrible not, country music. It's not, yes, absolutely. Pop with uh, twangy guitars. But it's not, it's got a little bit of spice to it, so if you're not, like, a super spicy fan. It's the back it's of your... Yeah, it's got, it, right, you get a little bit of warmth to it. Yeah. But it's not, like, a Frank's Red Hot. It's not, like, a, no. everyone around here that does a... Doesn't kick you in the dick. Yeah, everyone that around here that does a spicy chicken sandwich just drowns it in, in Red Hot, and that's... Not what this is. This they is definitely that, they put that shit on everything. On everything. Yeah, and this is. Yeah, I like the. Uh, there's a. There's a honey mustard kind of a yep. uh, thing. I'm no food connoisseur, queef or anything, but I dig it. Yeah, it's uh, definitely not a bad sandwich. The chicken tender. It's a huge piece of chicken. It's a uh, all white breast chicken meat. It's a big giant piece of chicken in there. So it's uh, the it's lettuce is lacking. I'm not a fan of that lettuce. Yeah, it's got shredded lettuce on it, which to me just is. I love shredded lettuce. I don't like uh, the the end of the. You know, they they use the top. It looks like they used in in in. It looks like they used the top of the thing and pulled it off and yeah, said, the, the "Let's leafy, use the good yeah. lettuce on the Greek salad and put this on the uh, for this dumb jerk that ordered this stupid yes. thing." But anyway, that, Mickey's New York Pizza, Mickey's Derry, New, New Hampshire. Good stuff. Nashville hot chicken sandwich. I can dig it. Definitely good. I would get it without the honey mustard on it. Ooh. Dems that fighting be, words. That would be my, my preference. That's because we heard you chew. Yes. Is that why you shut the mics That's off? That's why I shut the mics off so you didn't have to hear me chew. Chew. Aren't you half? Mm. A quarter. Oh, quarter. Yes. Quarter chew. All right. So. All right. Here we go. Um, Whoosh. So let's do... Um, We're going Giovanni's next. Oh, so G- Italian style. Yeah, there you go. So Giovanni's, um, we got this. Oh, no, nope. this is uh, on a onion roll, which it's not supposed to be. Oh, come on now. Um, they did that to me. Did, did Magnus take his sandwich? He probably, yeah, the, the, that was the bigger one, by the way. So, yeah, this was supposed to not be on an onion roll, and it's on an onion roll. So we're going to have to, he's already eaten it. So we're going to have to skip on that one, and we're going to have to go. 
We're going junior. Right here. And oh, uh, look at there that. There you go. So this is from Blue House. Yes. So this is the uh, the Blue House roast beef sandwich. So we'll just All right. take the wilted lettuce, take yeah. that, stick it on your plate. We'll put this down here. The Wilt Chamberlain lettuce. There you go. Oh, look at that. I'm making a fucking sloppy ass mess it's everywhere. pink and gray and all of the things that you don't want a beef to be. No, I'm kidding. Oh, this looks pretty good. So this is a uh, this is a large beef. A big That's beef. a junior. This is a junior. Imagine that. I wish that we had the camera to show. Uh, yeah, so this is the junior beef. Yep. And this is from Blue House. Sauce and cheese. Yeah, sauce and cheese on the sesame the uh, uh, to all beef patty special sauce lettuce cheese pickles, pickles onions, onions on a sesame this seed is bun. Gay. <laughs> so, wait, so it's on a sesame seed bun. This, this, is, this is the junior. Uh, just sauce and cheese. Mute. All right, unmute. Unmute. So, Blue House. I'll say this. This is the Blue House Super Beef. No, that's a regular. That's a regular? So you didn't even get a super? No. So the Super Beef from Blue House nope. is absolutely fucking gigantic. And this, this is probably close to a pound of roast beef on this sandwich. It's enormous. And a, and a, the and junior, a half a pound of paper. Yes. The, the Junior is pretty fucking big, too. Sitting in the back of the station wagon where he fucking belongs, if he doesn't know what's good for him. But that is, uh, this This was the Blue House one. This would be exactly what you would get from North Shore, Massachusetts. It's got really tender roast beef. It's really lean. It's definitely that rare, medium, rare roast beef. Plenty of juice to it. Um, Drizzled in the James River. Yep. Uh, barbecue sauce, cheese. Yep. I would, myself, personally, I like the onion roll. John does not. Toasted bun. Toasted bun is a must. Cheese on the bottom. So this was the Blue House. It's right up here in Derry, New Hampshire. Absolutely fantastic. I would definitely, and I've had, and I've had Blue House before, so I knew I was going to like Blue House. That was oh, the, yeah. That was the sad part about they, doing this is we thought we were going to get places we've never got before, and we've gotten it from pretty much every place that has uh, they, roast beef. That house blew me away Yes. The first time I had it. I couldn't believe that uh, the first time uh, a roast beef nut Knew all the places way back when, growing up, being raised, wherever the hell. I move up here, right around the corner, boom, blue house. So Good stuff. Thinking outside the box, we're actually thinking inside the box. I mean, it's a plastic box, but it's still a box. We hate the environment, folks. So, I'm going to club a couple baby seals on my way to getting the sandwich. All right. So, this is the Nor'easter grilled cheese sandwich from... East Dairy Tavern, and they were kind enough to cut it in half for us, so I don't have to. So this has got the nice thick bread. Whoa, it's, and it's still a, steaming. It's a grilled cheese sandwich. Looks like Texas toast. With pot roast in it. <gasps> and cheese. Oh, oh my God. So this is, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to make lots of noise, so give me a chance. Oh. Oh, man. I feel like I just died and went to Disney World with a pocket full of Pock Hopper passes and unlimited meal plan. Holy dog shit. That is fucking great. East Dairy Tavern, not, I, I'll give you six inches of a Nor'easter any winter you want. My God. If you're giving them six inches, you're giving it to them three times. I don't fold it in half for anybody. <laughs> All right, I got to finish my sandwich. Hold on.
Legs are up. All right, now that I'm done chewing. All right. So um, we're done eating. Episode 10 is over. <laughs> that <laughs> fucking killed it. That was, that was, that's the end of the show. That is. There's French fries left if you guys want to come up and uh, go to yeah, Transgression and get some French fries and honey mustard. Holy shit. East Dairy Tavern out of the park. Absolutely best grilled cheese sandwich you'll ever eat. I mean, I don't know if you can really call it a grilled cheese sandwich because it's loaded full of pot roast and it's got a ton of pot roast in it. The pot roast is tender, mm. it's very flavorful. And the fr- I've been to East Dairy Tavern probably 20 times. I think I've gotten that sandwich 11 times. I don't get sick of it. Wow. It, it comes with the steak fries and a side of gravy. I always get extra gravy because I dip the fries in the gravy, and I like to dip the sandwich in the gravy. I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I, I'm speechless. I, that I, was fucking great. I knew that you were going to like that. That is absolutely good bless you. Thank you. Yes. German word. Yes. Gesundheit. I'm sorry. To a quarter of you. Yes, to a quarter of me. But now we got to see what everybody else says is the the uh, the best sandwiches here. So oh, we got a uh, so. love blue house onion rings too. They do they do the um, they don't do the the big fat beer battered onion rings. You know, I like those, but they do the ones with you know the the the, the breading slides off the the oh, ring. Yeah, the big nice fat cigar onion rings. Yes, I, I I do not like the onion rings that are the, the, the that you could use as like a hockey puck. I don't like those onion rings. You I just like the, hate Irish people. Yes, that's what it is. That's pretty much. Well, yeah. yeah. you're welcome. Well, what are you gonna do? Can't win them all. But, them. yeah, so uh, Blue House onion rings, fantastic. All right, let's go back to the top here. All right, first one, Bob Ellis. Uh, Mike's in Everett on 99. I know that you've gone to Mike's in Everett, but I, I all I, the time. I not it, if anything's walking distance, if you're brave enough. Yes, every, yes, absolutely. But there have been nights where I uh, said, "Yeah, put the key in the ignition and go the hell to Mike's," because the only other alternative was Mimi's in Malden Square. Yep. And that place was a staple for a long time. Whether you're in high school, whether you're in in Catholic school, whether you're, uh, you know ugly or whatever you go there you fill yourself up on some they had a double deck of beef it, yep. was, it was a like a big mac, like a big mac without a the sauce sandwich. The yep. thing, nice little thing in the middle but you paid for it the next day because their food was now that they're closed i can say they were fucking horrible it was good drunk food and that's it you don't buy it on a saturday afternoon when you're lonely and your wife left you so it's like, it's kind of like taco bell i mean wait what were we talking about <laughs> Uh, good drunk food. Oh, yes. Very good drunk food. So you want to talk about good drunk roast beef growing up in Lynn. Always. Uh, Bill and Bob's on Boston Street. At, Kathy, you just pointed that out. Yeah, at 1 o'clock in the morning, there was <laughs> 50 people trying to get into Bill and Bob's to get a roast beef sandwich. At 1 o'clock in the afternoon, there was nobody because it you had to be drunk to eat it. It was the Taco Bell of roast beef sandwiches. It was... Yeah. It was just there. It was it was edible. It was food. You weren't waiting in line at Wendy's or McDonald's or Burger King, which was also right on the same street. But and who it, wants to do that? And everybody went there and would get a, a super beef, light sauce and cheese, no mayo. With a with a with a side of left hook or there right you go. hook. I forgot to have just like no, that that was the Shawmut, which was down the street. Which oh, much like fight. I've been hey, that was the fight Kathy. club. All right, who else we got? What do we got here? What do we got here? Ding, 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 ding. Jenna Ryan grew up on Kelly's Toasted Beast. All right, Kelly's Roast Beef is not like any of the other roast beef places around. Tell you, I'll tell you why. Because it's better. Kelly's used to be the staple Mm -hmm. for the North Shore beef. When they expanded... And this goes for their their fried foods and and everything else they have on the menu. When they when they were just on the beach, the beach, you can still watch them breading the clams and the and the onion rings and and the bullshit. Everything in all the other locations comes frozen. Yep, on a truck, yep. and that's give me the it, it jerk me off. That's terrible. The beach. People like to shit on Kelly's because. There's so many great, great, great roast beef places, but you can't beat. But, but the, the Kelly's the roast meat beef at the beach. The Kelly's roast beef was different though because it wasn't that shaved roast beef that you get like on these sandwiches that we have here. Yeah. So it wasn't the shaved roast beef. It was like a thicker cut of roast beef. Yep. It wasn't as lean as the other roast beef. It was a man's roast to, beef. To me, it had a ton more flavor. 
and it was always rare. It's all about the you flavor. always got you got roast beef at Kelly's, and it was always rare. You never had to worry about that beige roast beef that mm-hmm. some of the other places that you'd get. Yep. it was always you bloody. only had to worry about a Puerto Rican kid coming up and knifing knife you yeah, for yeah, it. Yeah, yep. yeah, absolutely. It's all just absolutely. Kelly's has always been my favorite. I actually was going to try and get down to Kelly's, but I didn't want to have to go down to the beach before. Get down, get down, get down, get yep. down, get down tonight. This, so Kelly's was always my favorite because it was different from every, and not just because it was different. I just thought it was better. I just liked the thicker cut of roast beef. Oh yeah, the fact that it wasn't super lean like this is, uh, just Kelly's all day, all day, every day. I Kelly's, can't argue with that. Kelly's is my favorite. Yeah, but not that the other ones are bad. Right, but Kelly's was just uh, just a little bit better. Yeah, but a lot of those other places just have uh, they've had their comeuppance, as it were. Yep. Right, uh, R- Renata, uh, Minos, and Lynn. Oh, yep, right up in Wyoming Square. That's right up your old address. Yep, right up in Wyoming Square, right around the block from Pickering Junior High School. Absolutely loved it there, but as a kid, I was poor and they were expensive, and I would rather go eat off the dollar menu because I was a fat kid and I got more food off the dollar menu. But when I did get roast beef. We'd go to Minos all the time, but my parents wouldn't go because it was pricey. And they would they would rather pricey. go to Kelly's. Can we talk about pricey for a second? Uh, can we? Are you 48 or uh, 84? Uh, uh, that's a little <laughs> pricey for my... It's, it's, it's a little pricey. Mm, that's, oh, that's kind of pricey. Uh, nah, I'm sorry. You making fun of me because I'm old now? No. Making fun of you for your, for your uh, cigar choice. Uh, okay. I'm a Gosh of Vega guy myself. Yeah. <laughs> they sell those at gas stations, don't they? They sell they yeah, and burritos <laughs> and coffee. Things I've yep. stuck in my ass for five hundred bucks, Alex. Please. Minos, Mino, right, Minos, Minos, definitely great roast beef. Loved it, and it was very similar to what we have here from that you get from Giovanni's or from Blue House. It was that thin shaved roast beef, medium rare. I don't know that they toasted the buns. I think that they did, but I'm not hundred percent sure. But that's if the bun's not toasted. It's not a good roast beef because then, then you've been roasted. Yes, because that should be a bumper sticker. It, if the bun's not toasted, you've been roasted. Yeah, stick to your day job, dude. I'm gonna go in the shower yeah. and take and, and, mm-hmm. and, and bring the toaster in with me. That's a good idea. Yeah. That, uh, episode eleven. <laughs> John takes the toaster to the shower. Tune in. Well, I tune out. Yes. Oh, boy. But, yeah, so good roast beef has yes. to have toasted bun. We talked about it's got to be sauce and cheese. We're not mayo, guys. I, I understand some people like mayo on roast beef. Would you put mayonnaise on, on a filet mignon? Would you put it on a steak? Then why the fuck would you put it on a roast beef? No. It just you doesn't, wouldn't, it doesn't and, belong. No, I, I'd rather have a, 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 a raspberry aioli on a fucking roast beef than a goddamn mayo. <laughs> Take your mayo and jump in the shower with a toaster. Yes, please do. Yeah, definitely not. Uh, I wouldn't put mayonnaise on steak. I wouldn't put mayonnaise on anything, actually. When mayonnaise gets brought into my house, I throw it away, even if it's brand new. I throw it right in the trash. It's, it is verboten in my house. See? Right, Beachmont roast beef. The, hey! The raunch. Uh, I've never had it. Good stuff. I've, I've woken up you, many you mornings from in the beach. Ranch? I've, 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 I've woken up many mornings uh, a little like I am now <laughs> in my younger days and, and, and had to stumble to... Uh, Beachmont roast beef before they closed, and they, uh, they See, but used I don't to know. put out a good singy. I don't know that you know, hangover roast beef is similar to drunken roast beef. You're just going to eat it to put something in your stomach. No, I was hungover before they closed. So I woke up at 11 <laughs> and said, fuck, they're closing soon. Yes. Yep, hangover roast beef, no different from... from it's, it's, it's all the same, right? You just you just want something, but when you want when, yeah. you, when you're sober and you're coherent and you're in your right frame of mind, oh yeah, you, you go, go to roast beef. You go to Tessie's in Tewksbury. You don't. You, you, you don't go to Beachmont. No, because they don't sponsor us. Yeah, nobody sponsors us. Ah, oh, except for third floor guitars, folks. <laughs> uh, how you, about the Royal in East Boston? Another one oh, I've never been to. Oh, it used to be when I was a kid. That was Jack in the Box. Like the burger place, Jack in the Box, the uh-huh. one that gave everybody salmonella in Washington and killed all That's those people. That's why they closed. <laughs> uh, yep. Yeah. Uh, they. It, it was Jack in the Box. They uh, became Riley's Roast Beef, which was a staple in the local area. They had a Chelsea, a Malden, an Everett, uh, all the great neighborhoods. Speaking of Chelsea, I got to interrupt you for a minute there. Speaking of Chelsea, do you know what Bill Clinton and Massachusetts have in common? They both have an ugly Chelsea. Oh. All right, continue. All right. Continue. 
<laughs> you say Chelsea, I got to throw that joke out there. <laughs> Winter by the sea, Chelsea by the smell. Let's do this, folks. <laughs> All right. So, uh, Riley's roast beef had, uh, uh, it was Jack in the Box. It became Riley's roast beef. Bunch of locations. They closed. It became Royal. Now, I worked at the airport like every kid from Winthrop did at least once in their life. And my lunch break was at midnight. And I lost 50 pounds in a year because I'd eat royal roast beef at midnight, work it off till 5 a.m., go to sleep until 3 in the afternoon, wake up and do it again, lather, rinse, repeat, yep. touch yourself in the shower. Boom. Old Jed's a millionaire. So that's my royal roast that's beef your story. royal roast beef story. You can eat... And lose weight. But you were sober when you when you ate it, so that says it's probably pretty good. No, it was fucking delicious. Oh, yeah. Yep. Never had one. All right, uh, John's Roast Beef in Lynn. By, by the way, which just actually announced they were closing. John's Roast Beef in Lynn on the corner of Weston Ave. They're closing. Whoa! Yeah, they're done. And that, that was that was the place because that was probably the closest roast beef place within walking distance of my house. And I was a, a wicked baseball card geek when I was a kid. Even though I was the, the long-haired metalhead, I still had a huge baseball card collection. And there was a place two doors down from there called Pete's Dugout. And we would go there in the afternoon and just sort through cards all day. And we would always go over to John's Roast Beef and get a roast beef. It was really good. That's fun. If I remember correctly, the portions were kind of small. Granted, I was a fat kid, so if it wasn't 100 pounds of roast beef, it was small. But Get I just, a load of this guy. Yeah. <laughs> He's a fat kid. I just, I always had a problem with them because I always felt like I was getting cheated because I thought they were kind of, their sandwiches were a little on the smaller side. But they tasted fantastic. Toasted bun, onion roll, sauce, cheese, no mayo. No mayo. Good stuff. Nope. And they had the really, the, the really skinny fries. Oh, they yeah. Really get nice and extra crispy. Always loved them. You know who had those? Kippos in Wakefield. That was a good they, they they uh, beef was subpar. I haven't had it in whatever, but I used to go there just for the French fries. Why I would drive to Wakefield for French fries is anybody's guess. Yeah, I was from Lynn, so it was uh, frowned upon for me to go to Wakefield. <laughs> oh yeah, we we uh, we carted you at the border. <laughs> yes. My senior year of high school, the uh, basketball team went to Wakefield to play a scrimmage game against the Wakefield High School, and the brawl broke out, so they were banned from ever playing in Wakefield again. And some say they're still in the auditorium to yeah. this day. Lynn English High School, class of '91. Thank you very much. All right. Well, look at that. Our so, food episode has uh, turned into uh, ba basketball and baseball cards. There you go. In high school. Yeah, driven it right off the rails like a good locomotive driver. Absolutely. We're all over the place today. We got no more sandwiches to eat. That's so. what happens when I eat roast beef. It makes me all mental and kooky. And I turn Italian for some reason. You must eat a lot of roast beef. Though. It's the eyebrows. Black Irish, we call it. Blyrish. I got banned on Facebook for writing Black Irish. They thought I was hating on people. Oh, that's kind of silly. All right, I'm looking. I'm t trying to find out if we lost comments here. or So I'm pulling it up on my phone for a second because comments seem to have stopped coming in. We got seven people watching. Nobody's commenting. Come on, you guys like roast beef. Where do you get your roast beef from? Or where okay. won't you get your roast beef from? Oh, that's an even better question. All right, where's the bad roast beef? I already said Bill and Bob's and Lynn. It, it was the, you know, it was great as far as, you know, they were open until 2 o'clock in the morning. But I don't think the food was The was owner of that place just really died, I think, in August. I, the old Greek guy. I believe so, yes. I know I'm not being very specific, and I'm sorry to the family of the Apostolopoulos. But I'm sorry, but, but uh, I, I don't remember his name. But he was like 84, and he invented roast beef and brought it to Salem, and the rest is fucking history. He probably made a fortune because there was a lot of drunks in Lynn, and you had the shaman right down the street. And, and because Lynn always had last call, everybody from Salem, Peabody, Beverly, Saugus, Revere, everybody went to Lynn because it was open later, and he's, that's why he stayed open until 2 o'clock in the morning and and slinging roast beef. what a great deal that he had putting uh, Bill and Bob's right on Route 1 North, right next to Cappy's Liquors. Yes. See, I always went to the one. It became Glenn's now. I always went to the one in Lynn that was on Boston Street right across from the old ice arena. There was one there, too. Yes. That's, 
That's the one that I used to go to. And there was a Peabody, wasn't there a Peabody, or is that the Salem one on the line or Danvers? Or not some sure. Not sure. Dumb I, place. No, I told I was a Lynn kid. We weren't really allowed. We were frowned to go into the, any of the other towns. So oh, yeah. I, I didn't get to experience. Oh, the cops were called when you went into yes. other towns. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Oh, there's some Lynn toughs. There's some Lynn kids in my town. They're gonna run you through with a sword. Mm. Nope, we're just looking Charles, for roast beef. Charles in Middleton. No. Oh, Charlie's in Middleton. I think they got taken over by terrorists or something, but they were fucking great. Yeah, they got they got hijacked, and they were really really good. They had they had the skinny fries like you like, and the 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 junior was actually a junior, not this not this blue house large beef disguised as a junior business. Yep. Drowning in James River, rare, rare, pink, sloppy, like a sixth grade art project of mine. Yeah, speaking of uh, sloppy, Nick's yeah. Roast Beef in Beverly. One of the best in the world. Uh, absolutely fantastic. The, the only problem that I had with Nick's whenever I would go, when I worked at Sylvania and Danvers, I used to go there all the time for lunch. But if you asked for light sauce, when you opened up the wrapper, it was, I mean, they, they, I think that what they did is they put a little bit of sauce on the sandwich and then they coated the entire inside of the paper and then they wrapped the sandwich in it because yeah. you couldn't touch the sandwich without being up to your elbow in barbecue sauce. Oh, yeah. And that was if, excuse me, that was if you asked for light sauce. Yeah. If, if not, they used to, I think they would take the sandwich and like actually like dip it in the sauce. Well, you were a bulb salesman. Yes, I And you asked for light yeah, but sauce. Boom. So they ah. were like, hey, Sylvania guy. Here's your light sauce. Yeah, ah. you're, you're reaching deep for that one. Ah, okay. I know. Okay. I've, ah, that was, reminds me of yeah. taking a shower this morning. <laughs> I'm kidding. I haven't. I, I, I actually wash with Irish Spring. I love an ethnic cleansing in the morning. <laughs> no, nothing better than that. <laughs> Folks, we're still here. Ooh, I like that one. I'm gonna use that. <laughs> Feel free. It's all yours. <laughs> what were we talking about? Nick's and Beverly. Nick, Nick's and Beverly. Want to hear a, 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 a stupid anecdote that has to do with that? Sure. There was a place called Jimmy's in Reading, right on 28. They had unbelievable roast beef. This place was a, 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 a it was a guy's uh, strip mall, a guy's paradise. There was. The amazing XXX video store on the left, Jimmy's Roast Beef in the middle, and Northside Liquors or some shit on the right. And when was this? Beer, Redding. It, 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 the, the whole place burned down years ago under uh, suspicious terms. But the kid that worked at uh, Jimmy's Slinging Beefs ended up at Nick's in uh, Beverly. Nice. So... Uh I did not know that. They, uh, the kid must have gone on Monster.com and been like, I'm the best beef slinger in the East. And uh, they, <laughs> they're like, oh, be, we, we got you there. That, you would need be, in that would be my job. Yeah, you need Indeed. Indeed, he, he did. Yeah, he, he fucking, he was right there slinging beefs. And the saddest part about that is uh, not, not to mention the porn store or, you know, the, uh, the, 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 the eight lives that were taken in the fire. The, the, the autographed picture of Mickey Ward on the wall. Oh. That was sad. That's shameful. Yeah. So what about, was it Superior? Is that the one that's in Lynn on Linfield Street? Yes. Superior Roast Superior, Beef. Superior, right on the corner. Yep, right on the corner, right when you start. The by the cemetery. Up. Yep, right by the cemetery. I've run out of there many times. Not Superior, yeah. the cemetery. <laughs> the cemetery, yes. The ch cops don't chase you out of Superior. Nope, they chase they you out of the cemetery. They'll chase you out of the cemetery, yes. absolutely. Uh, yep, Superior Roast Beef. I, that, to me, that's like your, like your, your middle ground. That's your, it's like the... the do I want to go to Beverly? Do I want to go to Malden? No, I, I'll yeah. stick. See, I'll stay in Superior. So and... For me, that was always like the if it's not as good as Superior, I won't go out of my way to get it. That was like that. That you know the that, staple. That, yeah, that was like the staple. That was like what everything else was judging. The and it wasn't because it was great. It was because I said I won't eat anything worse than this. That was like the. And not saying it was bad. Man, you <clears> should. But have... for good roast beef, that was like the 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 worst of the good roast beef. I should have if called you at 12.30 a.m. in Malden and said, hey, take me to Superior because I'm about to go to Mimi's and, and gamble my life away. Well, there you go. Yeah. G gambling with your colon when you go to places like oh. that. But th always good roast beef, you know, decent portions. Put it all on pan. Nice and tasty. Loved yeah. it. Yep. But Great. Th that was always like, 
like you know i'm a big chicken wing guy and, and like buffalo wild wings is like the 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 worst of the best that's like oh, talk about anything, taco bell if anything uh, if, it, if the once. wings if the wings are worse than buffalo wild wings i won't eat them i won't go back Oh my God! The '99 has better wings than Buffalo Wild Wings, and they have wings in their name. And they absolutely do not have better wings than Buffalo Wild Wings. The '99 wings are fucking pigeons that they fight in the at, at the uh, the dumpster out back. You're not even getting chicken. <laughs> Frozen, terrible garbage wings at the '99s. Nah, when you have 84 locations, I guess that's gonna yeah, happen. It, it, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, at Athas in Peabody. Uh, yeah, Athas. Athas. Yeah, that's whatever you pronounce it. That, talk about the uh, what, what do they call that? The Golden Spike, the Staple, the Cornerstone, the uh, the the Ground Zero of everything that you uh, right. looking it's, for it's, in a beef. It's the it's the gatekeeper. That's the that's the yeah, word I'm looking for. Yeah, the, the gateway. It's, it's got to be at least it's the gatekeeper. It's the at gateway least that drug. good. If it can't, if it's not that good, it's not worth it. It's, it's the marijuana be. to your beef heroin. Yep. And uh, Londy's is another one. They got a couple locations. <laughs> Londy's, yes, uh, not a fan. There was a Londy's that used to be in, what? I don't know if it was in Danvers or it, it was it was right by where Fantasy Island used to be in Danvers. It was across the street. Mm -hmm. I used to go there for lunch all the time. And the only reason I went there for lunch all the time is because there was a chick that used to work behind the counter that had an absolutely fantastic ass. That's the true story. Truth, whole truth, nothing but the truth. So help me God. You can check my credit card records. When I worked at Sylvania, I ate there once a week, and it was just so that I could look at her ass. That was it. The food sucked. I've done that with a Dunkin' Donuts before. There you go. So you know, oh where, you know where I'm coming from. I absolutely do. Yes, and that's why I went there. It was the only reason why I went there. Yep. Because the food sucked. Wasn't a Londy's fan. I know they got one in Salem now, right by the hospital. <laughs> fitting yes just like good, superior good place. right by the it, cemetery it it, it wasn't I, I don't want to say that it was terrible food i don't want to say that it was bad food it just wasn't good it wasn't something There's that a you would huge it, difference between bad food and no, not but, good but food here's the difference not good you'll eat it here's the difference you and ne you never woke up and said you know what i want Londies. right you've never said that in your life and if you have you were you were drunk and that doesn't count unless you woke up and said you know what i want the girl's ass behind the counter at Londres. I would I would agree with that one hundred percent. Because you don't have to be hung over. <laughs> I'm just waiting to for look at I'm, a beautiful I'm, ass. I'm just waiting for somebody on the podcast to know who she is and tell her that I said that. Call me. <laughs> hey. You see the train tracks? We're to the left of the train tracks. No, we're right. still talking no. about roast beef. No, I was telling you why I, I went to Londres. Oh yeah. Londres served roast beef. I went to Londres. Did I tell you my story about Dunkin' Donuts? No, I'm just yeah. kidding. <laughs> That's uh, episode 11. Dunkin' Donuts and Londy's asses. Yes. Try fitting that in a fucking Google title. <laughs> you think you got problems? No. All right. So talk about things and stuff. I'm trying to think of like really bad roast beef that I've had. Mimi's, Malden. Mimi's and Malden. I never went to see. I told you I was like stuck in like Danvers, Beverly, Peabody, Salem, Lynn. I didn't, really didn't get much outside of that. Oh. Up, so up here in Derry is a, is a place that's actually closed now. Excuse Let's you. talk about it. Was Jake D's? Jake, oh, Jake D's yeah. roast beef. Oh, yeah. They actually had a pretty decent roast beef they sandwich. Did. They they were really good, and they uh, I don't I, know if they're closed. Depending on who you talk to, they're either closed temporary or permanently. But they were another. They had that that North Shore roast beef. They did. They, they had tried, it there, and it was good. They closed during the pandemic, I think. Yeah, they, yeah. they, they did, but. Depending on who you talk to, some people say that they're going to reopen, and some people say that they're closed for good. At one point, their Yelp said temporarily closed, yeah. but other people who allegedly say that they know who the owners are say that they are permanently closed, that they just yeah. shut down and said, fuck it. I, I, this I walked there for a beef once, and I wish I kept walking, and yeah. I would have rather, honestly, had gone to the grain store across the street <laughs> and eaten some fucking bird you seed. You, you, you didn't like Jake D's? Uh, maybe they were having an off day. I like to uh, score everyone on a curve. That's reasonable. Yeah. But R.I.P. But how many times did you eat at Mimi's? Oh, my God. So, so you, you, you were waiting for the curve to flatten? You're going to flatten the curve? Yeah, it was, uh, oh, it was a draw. Oh, the, the, the boxing judges said it was 31-27 it was Mimi's, fucking 1-20 to 20 Jake D's. And guess who won, folks? Well, if you only ate a Jake D's once, you can't say. You can't I wore my Egomaniac once. shirt today. I noticed. Did you notice it? Can we get a close-up yeah, of how's, that? How's your off swing? You, if you walk up to the camera, you can. Yes, I don't oh, know. Oh, 
I can grip it and rip it. Yeah, he's got, John Daly has his John Daly shirt And on. it's got nothing to do with golf. Mm, yeah. Tell you that. <laughs> We're talking beef. <laughs> Talk about a time when we need to mute the cameras. Mm. Hey, Kenny D. Where's your favorite uh, roast beef place? He's a Wilmington guy. He go, he must go to Samard's often. Do you, you ever eat at Samard's? Oh, Never. Samard's. I, uh, we, got a, we got another one on here that I missed earlier. Bill and Bob's in Peabody Square. They're That's the one I was <clears throat> thinking about. They're still there. They put a monument up to it. Yeah, so the one... Oh, in, the no, one it was a monument to somebody else, but it's yeah. near Bill and Bob's. <laughs> but it's close enough. Right by the train tracks. Yes, yeah, right by the right by the courthouse. So you, that you should have noticed the courthouse more than anything. Oh, yeah. That's how I found Bill and Bob's. <laughs> yeah, um, <sighs> they weren't... It, it was almost like they were two different places because the one in Lynn was so bad. But... the. I, I will say this: that one in Peabody was pretty much the same thing as the as the one in Lynn. If you went there at, at two o'clock in the morning, there were more people than at two o'clock in the afternoon. Oh yeah, it was the drunk place. Everybody yep. went there when they were drunk and got a junior beef and ralphed it up in the car on the way home. Yeah, once Dodge Street or the other place in uh, in Salem closed, Second Coming or whatever the fuck that was. Oh, speaking of Salem, Sammy's. Remember that? I think. Oh, Big Fred's. Big Fred's. Yeah, oh, yes. that's the one. Yep. Uh, Big Fred's. They had the awesome. Patriot Burger. Yes. Remember that? Uh, yep. Massive. Eat the Patriot Burger and you too can die of heart disease. Yes. A little salmonella. <laughs> they didn't give you a t-shirt. They just, nope. yeah, that was a, ooh, yeah. boy. Yep. yep. Big, had some nights in Salem a long time ago. Big Fred's. The portions were huge and it was another drunk place because yep. that was where all the bars were in Salem. Yep. And, you know, and coffee houses. Yep. And coffee houses. Who, who drinks coffee? I played many a coffee house in Salem. I did not. Front Street. Plays. I said who drinks coffee. I didn't drink any coffee there. No, we you. brought our own beer. Absolutely. They I, didn't know. Yeah. Sorry, Front Street Cafe. <laughs> Is that the place that I saw you at? No, that was. Um, because that was like a little coffee Man shop, Ray wasn't it? In Boston. <laughs> I'm not talking about when you were tied face down onto the uh, the table. I'm talking when you actually played that show. Oh. That I ruined because I was recording it and singing oh, it. Oh, that was. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> it was in Salem, wasn't it? Donahue's in uh, Danvers on was it 62. In Danvers? Okay. Donahue's or O'Donahue's or some other Italian name. I can't think of it. San, San Donahue's or something. I can't. I, what the hell? Oscars? No. No, no idea. You and Don the, came. Yep, me and Don came. Yep. Yeah. And, and, and I rocked the joint. And they didn't have any roast beef. No, and they kicked me out and said, you've. You're here to play a benefit, and you drank 17 beers, and you owe us. Uh, it was like the Blues Brothers. Like the Blues. I got to go in the car, and I write out the check on the dash. Yes. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah, but Big Fred's. Big Fred's definitely was a drunken place. Bill mm -hmm. and Bob's in, in Peabody, drunken place. Bill and Bob's in Lynn, drunken place. Yes. Uh, wasn't there a, uh, was there a, a Bill and Bob's on Route 1 right next to the Cappies? That's Did what I said. Did we already talk about that yep. earlier? Yeah. And it's now Glenn's Roast Glenn's Beef. Roast and I've, beef. Heard, I've heard good things. I've heard good things. Okay. But yeah, um, uh, Saugus, Massachusetts, the, the, uh, the old Indian word meaning land of giant restaurants. Yes. Of course, they're all tearing them all down now. But uh, yeah, uh, Glenn's now used to be Bill and Bob's. You put it right next to a liquor store, because who the hell doesn't want roast beef when you go in at ten forty-five to grab your last handle of vodka yep. and you grab a couple of beefs for the night? Because you know, once you're done hitting your wife, yeah, you're, <laughs> you're gonna, gonna want, want a goddamn beef. good sandwich. All right, how about uh, beef and C on the Linway after the clubs close? Best onion rings, long gone now. That's from Lorraine Polo. Is that a friend of yours? Yeah, Lorraine. Lorraine. Beef and C, beef and, and C uh, on the Linway. Yep, I remember that. And uh, that reminds me of Land and Sea, Land and Sea, Peabody yep. on Land Linfield Street Peabody, or yep. Peabody Street. That was or a Salem's. place that I went to once or twice. But yep. yep, Land, Land and Sea. Yep, that looks to me like a s Sunday afternoon place your dad would bring you to. On uh, like, like, come on, kids, we're going for a ride in the car. And then it take you there and eat a super beef and make you eat a hot dog. <laughs> yeah, we're going to the roast beef place. You can get a hot dog. You can get a grilled cheese sandwich, and I'm getting a super beef yes. and a large fry and an onion ring and a pizza roll. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we can't. Oh. We can't afford for you to get one because I'm eating eighty dollars worth of fucking roast beef sandwiches. Right, and you can have the hot dog. Oh, speaking of pizza rolls, uh, when Mike's roast beef, world famous Mike's roast beef on ninety nine and Everett that Bob Ellis brought Bob up Ellis, earlier. Yep, yep. Uh, when they come out with the steak and cheese roll, it was it's a steak and cheese in okay. an egg roll. They changed the whole game. 
John, John's roast beef. We talked about them in, in Lynn earlier. That was where I started getting my pizza rolls, and they were fantastic. Yeah. And every time I go into a roast beef place, I'll get a pizza roll, and then I'm always just like, this sucks. You it's know terrible. where I first had, uh, speaking of sides, mozzarella sticks, Salem Willows. It was like 1990 or something. I was with a, 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 a person who shall remain the, the mother of my children, and her and her <laughs> sister. And my God, I, I know, it was like, like a whole new world opened up. Don't sing the goddamn Disney song. It ain't like that. It was mozzarella stick heaven. Holy shit. I, first time I ever had mozzarella sticks, I was working at the ground round. There's a name. I love the ground round. That, yep. was, that, was, that place was fun. Worked I think they the, all became Joe Fish or something like that. Uh, they were, were bought out by the Lone Star Steakhouse. Oh, remember the Lone Star Saloon on Route 1? Yep. Used to write me uh, and uh, Dominic from Third Floor Guitars, Facebook.com slash Third Floor Guitars. Set up, repair, customize. Dominic Frizzy, we used to ride our Harley Davidsons to the Lone Star Saloon, and now it's like a fucking bank in the Home Depot parking lot. The Ground Round is now a bank in the Home Depot parking lot. Strange you should say that. The Ground Round that was in, on Route 1 North in Saugus yep. is now a bank yep. in, in the same that's parking where the lot Lone as Star, the Home Depot is. That's where the Lone Star that's Saloon thick. was. You could throw your peanuts on the floor. You could slap the waitress's ass. You could listen to terrible country music. It was a horrible, horrible is, is existence. There, is there non-terrible country music? Well, uh, the old stuff. Let's, that's Wait. episode uh, 15. Yes, okay. Yeah, no, none of the new... Oh. Mm. Come on, I, 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 I picture you as a Florida Georgia line kind of guy. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Toby Keith. I want nothing to do with that. Uh, it remi Keith rhymes with queef. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I gotta say about that. No, uh, no, 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 no. I don't do. I don't do any of that new country bullshit. Nope, I don't do any country. No, nah, there's no all. flags on the back of my truck, and I don't go down to Great Woods and and uh, tailgate. Not my thing. But anyways, no, we're, we're talking, talking beef, we're talking folks. Beef here. Roast beef, beef, beef. I don't know. I think we're running out of roast beef places. And, and you know what? We're, we're gonna we're gonna turn the cameras off today, and as soon as we do, within five minutes, we're gonna come up with like twenty places we forgot. Yep. It's gonna be. So Give us some places. It, it, it I know the, we're running out of viewers here. What's that? Modern roast beef. I don't even know where that is. Is that in the north end, next to the pastry place? <laughs> Ooh. Modern pastry. Modern. Yeah, I don't know. If it's anything like modern country or modern metal, I would probably say no. What about David Bowie, Modern Love? Uh, that's pretty terrible, too. Eh. I think he was he could dance. He, modern Love, I think we were talking about his relationship with Mick Jagger. For inspiration. Oh, the <laughs> worst. We talked uh, a couple episodes ago about Rock Me Tonight killing Billy Squire's career. Yeah. What about dancing in the streets with David Bowie and Mick, Mick Jagger? Jagger? Holy, what a goddamn dance of... Dog shit, that was. That was the dance of shame. As I sit with my legs crossed. Mm. But the camera can't pick that up. Nope. But it can pick me picking up my nose. All right, roast beef, roast beef. What are we missing? We gotta be, uh, there's got to be, I know there's going to be like a huge one that we got to be missing. We shit on Mimi's. Uh, Talked about Bill and Bob's uh, being drunk in roast beef. Yeah. Uh, we got, we C, got all the, the drunk places. We got, I, I was, I wanted to save the drunk places for the end to see what everybody thought about the drunk places, but, uh, I, yeah. I think most people's drunk places was just whatever fast food restaurant was in. You know, I know when they first opened the Wendy's in Lynn at one o'clock in the morning, mm -hmm. that because they would be open. Wendy's is open till three. They were pretty smart. They knew Bill and Bob's closed at two, so they would stay open till three. That, and really? that line on Boston Street, the cops used to have a field day with just pulling. But if you wanted to know if somebody was absolutely shit faced, it was three o'clock in the morning and you're waiting at the Wendy's drive through. There's only one reason to be there. You're drunk. That was Samard's in Wilmington. Right across the street from the, the Market Basket, the Wilmington Plaza, the whole business there, they were open until 3 in the morning. And same thing. You only go there in the drive-thru. Mm -hmm. The, 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 the uh, counter service closed at... Uh, look who's talking about people being old. I gave you shit for being old. I just said counter service. Yes, My did. God, this isn't the 1950s. And you got your legs and, crossed. Uh, yep. Camera. The... Uh, the, co the cops would just sit across the street and just watch people yep. trying to make the left into the Samad's drive-thru. And, uh, yeah. 
Nick's Roast Beef in Beverly on Dodge Street. Yep. Not sure if it's been brought up yet. We talked about Nick's earlier. Yep. Nick's, Nick's and yep. the guy from Brent, Jimmy's. Brendan that, Bean yep. with, with Brendan. Nick's Roast Beef. Yep, Brendan finally showing up. Thanks, thanks, Brendan. Yeah, Nick's Roast Beef, great. Absolutely. Yeah. One, one of the best. Definitely. No doubt one of the best. That, that's a place that you would go to day or night, anytime. It, uh, Brendan, a lot of the places we were talking about, we, you know, like Bill and Bob's and Land and Sea and were all like the drunken roast beef places that you went to when you were drunk at 2 o'clock in the morning. But Nick's, fantastic. Yeah. All, and, all day, uh, every day. So because we are broadcasting live here on the Moose and Squirrel Show from Derry, New Hampshire, right down the street on, I think it's 111, Atkinson House of Pizza. At- Never been. Great roast beef. Okay. When uh, episode twenty four, we're gonna do roast beef again, because I'm getting hungry again, <laughs> and and we're so seventeen weeks from now, we're gonna that, do. That would be fourteen, but yeah, I know your math skills are not great. Uh, I never was a light salesman. No, not all of us can be. And I, I didn't graduate in English high school. Uh, no, Atkinson House of Pizza, uh, House of Beef, or House of fucking Maids. I don't know. It was. It's good. I ate there once. Royal in Methuen, 110, on the way to Lowell. Never been. Oh, well, you never come out the way you No, nope, No, unfortunately, like I said, I was uh, most of the roast beef places I had were in Lynn and now up here in Derry. Both, actually, was, like I said, there was three. Now it's down to two. Brandon brought up Kelly's on Riviera Beach. Yep, Kelly's. We talked about Kelly's, how different Kelly's was from everybody else because Kelly's was the thicker slice. It was a fattier roast beef, which I, I prefer than the lean, thin slice stuff that we got. Mm-hmm. And uh, what was the other place? We brought up Mike's. Yep. Now, wasn't there rumor that when they were building the Encore Casino, it was supposed to be the Wynn Casino, and then it became the Encore because the guy got in trouble for touching the kids or something, allegedly? And allegedly. Mike's was supposed to be torn down and put inside the... The, in the business there. I, did, I didn't hear that. Ah, well, no maybe idea. I dreamt that. No idea. Maybe. Uh, you never know. I think the, the, the guy from, uh, those two guys from the North End that, that do the thing on the Phantom Gourmet, they're like, hey, we're making a restaurant over here. Get the fuck out of here. Hey, forget about it. Yeah, you're not putting your roast beef next to my steaks, you fucker. I think that's what they said. That's quite possible. It was in the Globe. <laughs> ne- never had their roast beef, so I, I wouldn't know. And Oh, good stuff. You go in. You go into Mike's. That talk about a drunk place. Yep. And the the Everett police had bigger fish to fry. Good haddock sub there, by the way. Uh, haddock, you you, you go minute, there. Wait, wait a minute, haddock sub. Who fucking puts haddock on a sub? What are you getting? Is that like a fillet of fish? This guy. Oh. I would eat that at the end of the night. Oh. And yes, I'm ashamed to say I went to Mimi's and I would get a haddock sub slathered in mayo and shredded lettuce. That's, Two things that oh. we talked about earlier that are uh, just uh, no. against God's will. No. Oh. That's like people who eat fish tacos. I mean, you, you, you got, we've got to clarify we're talking about the actual fish in a taco, <laughs> not a fish taco. Fish tacos. Those Morning, ladies. Those, those are disgusting, too. <laughs> well, I've had... If you've had a good fish taco, <laughs> you know you've had a good fish taco. If you've had a bad fish, fish taco... taco you never want to even I just, look at a toilet bowl fi- ever again. Fi- fish in the taco just makes no. I like fish. I don't need to put it in anything else. I just want to give me a piece of fish on a plate and a knife and a fork and I'll eat it. Yeah, but That's it. I, well, I don't need it. You know, I don't need anything else other than that. All uh, right, what do we got here? Ah, uh, we got a uh, love fish tacos. Yeah. Yeah. Who said that? Ah, uh, the uh, yeah. There you go. That she doesn't count. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The the uh. The, Wait, the, yeah, she has to clarify which type of fish tacos she likes. Uh, 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 <laughs> 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Here, here comes the fuck you, Jim. <laughs> Sorry. Yes, no, fish tacos. No, thank you. Haddock sandwich. Here you go. No, that's a filet of fish, dude. Who fucking eats filet of fish? When's the last time McDonald's sold a filet of fish? My dad probably just had one yesterday. My dad used to eat them all the time. Yep. My dad's dead. So it's a no, dad sandwich. Yeah, no, my dad used to love it, but. It was only because he liked fish, and it was the only place that you could get fish at 1 o'clock in the morning. Burger King used to have the whaler. The whaler, yes. Yeah. yeah. yeah and that was just as equally as terrible, just like oh, that yeah. chicken sandwich. Bur- burger King, best fast food burger. Everything else that that place sells is trash. I'll, I'll, I'll agree with that. Everything. Yeah. Chicken fries, their French fries, everything that they do is just fucking awful. Remember, remember they had, uh, the, 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 if long they had a- before sliders were a thing, 
Burger King had a thing called Burger Buddies. Yep. And they came in the package that they they had leftover chicken sandwiches that nobody was buying, and they put like three of them in the thing. Bunch of uh, old band, <laughs> old old friend who always come up with the best lines says, one of the guys goes, Burger Buddy, and he goes, No thanks, pal. <laughs> It was a fucking riot. Yeah, if, and if Burger King made oh. roast beef sandwiches, they would suck too. Oh man, that, they'd be called Arby's. Yes, Arby's. Oh, how could we forget fucking Arby's? Hey, I'm so hungry, I could almost eat Arby's. Homer Simpson. Yes. What, not so. I lived in Colorado for a year in Aurora, and he still every smells time, like pot. Yeah, and every time I went to go get a roast beef sandwich, and you would ask people, "Where do you get a good roast beef sandwich around here?" and everybody would say. Oh, dude, Arby's has the best. I know it's fast food, but Arby's is the best. And I'm like, dude, Arby's isn't even beef. It's like fucking like emu or something. It's not even fucking real meat. Steakums. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I would rather eat a steakum than eat an Arby's roast beef. <clears throat> I've had many a nights eating steakums mm-hmm. when things were sad and I was divorced. Magnus, my son, would Kidding. all the time we would go to the mall and he would see Arby's and he sees all the commercials and he'd be like, Dad, I want Arby's. I'm like, I won't do that to you. Because Sorry. they have the meat. They Yes. And I'm like, I'm I'll sorry. take you to Sabaro. Yeah. I am not taking you to yeah. fucking Arby's. Yes, and I'm just. You can like, go to Chen's Walk Kitchen. You're not going to fucking. I'm like, I'm sorry. I won't do that to you. And that's, that's finally great. one day I was there, and my daughter was with us. It was the three of us at the mall. And Tori's like, I want Arby's, and Magnus is like, Yeah, we both want Arby's. And I said, You know what? Here's twenty bucks. Go get food poisoning. Have at it. They both <laughs> went up there. They both got a uh, cheddar beef. And the curly fries and a drink. That sounds good. And they good. sat down and they each took like two bites of the beef and oh. ate the curly fries. And then they were like, can we have some more money so that we can get something to eat? We're still hungry. And I'm like, dude, you have five pounds of cattle carcass on your plate <laughs> there. Whatever the fuck that is. Brendan just says, that's all I have in Florida. Arby's. Oh, my God. Everything tastes the same. Terrible. Yes. All um, right. Arby's is, I mean, just... When you look at the commercials and they show Arby's food on the commercials, you look at it and you're like, oh, my God, that looks so good. Oh, yeah. And then you go and you get one and you open up the fucking bun and you look at it and you're like. They used to have the meats. Now they don't have the meats. Dude, it it, it looks like fucking pan-fried labia. It's fucking terrible. (laughs) (laughs) It's. And, I, and, I, and it's not that I'm not a fan of labia, just not pan fried. I mean, I'm sure that Jeffrey Dahmer might want to eat it, but it just it does. It, it's. It is the fucking <laughs> the worst of the worst. He said, "I can smell your labia from here." <laughs> I, however, Clarice cannot. Speaking of uh, Clarice, next week. Next week, yes. Little preview. Our movies, yeah. Next week, uh, we we will have uh, my cousin Mark Lavoy, who uh, also runs his own uh, Facebook page, Macarb Theater. He's going to be here next week. We're going to be talking about scary movies, our yeah. movies, slasher movies, blood and guts. And Arby's roast and we're, beef. And we're, and we're going to be eating Arby's roast beef while we watch it. You know what? I, I wouldn't be at all surprised if in some of these slasher movies they use some Arby's roast beef. To oh, kind of, sure. You know, as the sound the, effects, the, the props, getting the getting the slapping sound. Uh, if you ever need, if you ever need to oh. make a recording of somebody throwing up, just eat Arby's. Yeah. And record it yourself. I think that's what they did in The Simpsons. Uh, they, there was a, a thing where uh, on a scary Halloween episode or something, somebody reaches in and pulls Bart's heart out. And and they use like Arby's roast, roast beef. beef. Yeah, Arby's roast beef. Probably wouldn't surprise yeah. me in the least bit. <laughs> Terrible, Arby's. I don't know how we could forget that. No, we had. I think we try, but Arby's absolutely, positively the fucking worst roast beef on planet Earth. I would rather eat. Brendan my... said he would take pan fried labia over Arby's. <laughs> Brendan, we are with you on that. <laughs> no doubt about it. Fish tacos, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I, so, uh, funny story, a couple of years ago in uh, Newport, Rhode Island, my stepson lived in San Diego for about four years. He came out to visit for a friend's wedding. So we're down eating eating the thing, and he says, oh, let's get some fish tacos. I'm like, yeah, I'm thinking, you know, fried haddock, a little, you know, business on there. He took you to the cabaret? No. Oh, no, 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 no. I would have loved that. Uh, I would have posted it on my OnlyFans page. Um Oh, you mean, it was, no, it was, you mean your no fans page? Yes, only no fans. Yeah. It was uh, no. You got an only Jackson's page. There you go. Yes, uh. the it was cubed salmon. Now I will eat white 
fish all day long. Yep. Salmon is hell spawn. Keep oh, them I in the man. stream. I love salmon. I'm not a fan. I, just uh, I'm not an only fan. I'm not a I'm not a uh, a, a ceiling fan. I, I'm n- nah nah. Uh, 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 oh. All right, we get we have to ask the the question now. Renata says that homemade roast beef sandwiches are the best. Oh no, homemade. Steak and cheese and steak and pepper subs are the best. All right, so I think you got to fight when you get home then, because she said that. Oh, she's getting a fucking left hook to the mouth. <laughs> I'm gonna Mickey Ward her ass. She's gonna be Arturo Gotti, begging for mercy, well, we, and we, I'm gonna get a million bucks. We talked about the homemade stuff earlier, and that's like when we were looking for roast beef sandwiches today. Everybody wanted to give us a roast beef sub and homemade roast beef subs. Yes. But like a real roast beef sandwich, you gotta do a. It's you gotta you gotta hit one of the places. You yeah, know. because you can't. Uh, uh, not everybody has a, a, a deli, right, deli slicer. Slice, at slice home. it that yeah, perfectly you, paper thin. Have it perfectly cooked rare. You got a fourteen rare. hour roast going, and then you blah. Who's got the time for that? Roast beef places uh, apparently. Yep, she said subs too. Okay, I'll give I'll give you the subs, but sandwiches no. Subs definitely. If I'm gonna have a roast beef sub, I get it from. I go to Hannaford's and buy the. the actually, I send my uh, 1-800 Swedish Bride. I send her to Hannaford's to buy roast beef and some rolls and some cheddar cheese, sharp cheddar. Can we talk about 1-800 Swedish Bride for a second? Man, I'd never heard that before. I thought it was always Russian. Nope. Or is she always rushing, rushing around. Uh, yes, that too. All right. I got something in my eye. It's a twinkle. Looks like your finger. <laughs> you know what else looks like my yeah. finger? <laughs> I don't know. Renata, what else looks like his finger? My thumb. <laughs> All right. I think we're done talking about roast beef. I got nothing else. Oh, I think we're... Uh, wait. I got two beers left. We're not done talking about... Ro- no, kidding. We got uh, six viewers. Uh, uh, somebody just uh, threatened my life. Hot roast beef, open face with gravy. Yes. Oh, and uh, she was answering the question, what else looks like your finger? Would you like to read the answer? Or can we just laugh and assume? Richard Nixon. (laughs) Tricky dick. I am not a crook. Uh, Or is it ticky dick? Watergate. (laughs) Uh, I think we're done. I don't think there's any. So the moral of the story today. Southern New Hampshire sucks for roast beef sandwiches. You got like two choices. You got two choices. You're either going to go to Giovanni's in London Dairy or you're going to go to uh, Blue House here in Dairy. Yeah, or Salem. Or they have a place in Salem too? Salem. Okay. I said Salem. Salem. How the hell did I just say Salem? I don't know. Did you get a little tickle in your throat there? Uh, I must. But that's it. So if you're in the, the Dairy, London Dairy area, the only two places that we can find that have a roast beef sandwich, like that North Shore roast beef. Giovanni's, fantastic, love it. Rose uh, Blue House, fantastic, love it. You're Atkinson not, you, House of Pizza. You're not going to lose it, but we didn't have one of those today. Are you good at that? Uh, uh, yeah. Oh, I thought you were giving recommendations. I'll give you a recommendation. Oh, I'm just. I'm, I'm, Take a bath with the toaster. They, that's that's your job. You that's said, what I said. That's that's episode eleven. That's next week. Yes. John showers with the toaster. Never forget. So what, what are we going to talk about next week? We haven't, you know, we got, we got nothing. Oh, I'm October sorry. October 17th. I said what we were talking about next week. That's the 17th. That's right. And I'm the drunk one. Yeah, Mark, Mark Lavoie coming up. Lavoy. Uh, Macabre Theater. Yes. Going to talk about some slasher movies. Fish tacos. Yeah, and uh, I think in one of the slasher movies, somebody dies with a tub and a toast. We'll have to reenact that next week. We need a volunteer. Was that Friday the 11th? Uh, uh, Friday the 17th. Friday the 17th. Uh, yeah, it's actually Sunday, but that's okay. But it's Sunday. Yeah, What's so, the movie called? What movie? Thursday the 11th? Something like that? Well, it was, uh, it was uh, Saturday the, the 14th. It was a comedy. With the toaster oven? It was Saturday the 14th. Oh, I remember that. That was, it was a spoof on Friday the 13th. It was oh, Saturday I the watched 14th. It the, the, uh, I watched it the next day on the 15th. So, if you are a horror, horror movie fan, <laughs> if you're a horror movie fan, don't or, forget this Friday, uh, Halloween Kills, the sequel with Jamie Lee Curtis comes out on Friday. So, it was perfect timing. We're going to watch that. Boops. And, and then we are going to... Talk about all our favorite slasher. We're going to go from roast beef sandwiches to cutting people up and making them look like roast beef. And uh, Macabre Theater is going to help Macabre, out yep, with that. Macabre Theater, Mark Lavoie, he's going to be here, and we're going to 
I'm looking forward we're to that. We're going to do our thing. Because I don't have to talk as much. Yeah, we're going to edge it. I'm looking forward to that, too. What a coincidence. <laughs> hey, thanks, everyone, for uh, joining us for uh, Weekly Silliness. Much appreciated. If you're looking for some extra roast beef or some uh, some steak fries here, we got we got plenty of leftovers here. Come up. Transgression Studios. And I got to I gotta say, before we, I, I got to give a, uh, I, I, I hate sh- shout outs. We got to think of something else for, shout outs are stupid. How about it? I got to give a, hey, fuck you. I got to give a, uh, hey, all right there, fatso. The guy at Blue House last night when I got, when I got a sandwich, I said, you know that this is going to be reviewed tomorrow on my podcast uh, on live on Facebook. He goes, no shit, really? As he crossed his arms threateningly. Yeah. And I went, oh, fuck. I go, give me a pen. I'll write it down. I wrote, Moose and Squirrel Pod, 12 p.m. live Facebook. And he goes, yeah, I'll check it out. Yeah. You're not working today. You're out fucking tailgating for the Pats or some stupid shit. But anyway, you were a good guy. You gave me the beef. And that's not the first time I've ever said that in my life to a stranger in a parking lot in Derry, New Hampshire. No, nope, definitely not. So Brendan's coming up in two weeks. Come up, Brendan. We'll make sure that we uh, keep you out of southern New Hampshire so that you don't have to suffer with the no roast beef sandwiches up here. But you get and up you here. don't want to end up on the no-fly list. Uh, <laughs> absolutely. All right, guys. Moose and Squirrel. Appreciate everybody. Thank you very much. Talk to you guys next week. Burn in hell. Peace. <laughs>